motorcycles for tall people. If you're like me, I'm six foot three, if you're plus six feet tall, uh, you need to watch this video because we're going to discuss the problems that you might have finding a motorcycle that fits. Now, most motorcycles are designed for the average sized or average height person, which happens to be five foot ten. So anyone who's five foot ten has got it made because pretty much every bike in the world will fit you. If you're a few inches above, a few inches below, then you're going to be fine as well. Um, and if you're shorter than that, there's, it's they're not really a problem because lots of bikes come with lowering kits. You can lower the suspension, you can get a lower seat, uh, you can drop the handlebars. There's all sorts of things you can do if you're shorter, but there's very little that can be done if you're taller. And in this video, we're going to discuss those problems. Now, understandably, most people who are tall try and find a bike with a taller, higher seat height and they get hooked up on the fact that if the seat's high, it must be okay. But that's not actually the case, which is why I've chosen this Heritage Classic, which has a seat height of 680 millimeters. And as you can see, my legs are firmly bent and um, it's not a tall seat by any means. But the, the most important measurement that you really have is length. And let me put it back on the stand. As you can see, there's tons of room for my legs because it's got forward controls. It's got plenty of reach for the bars and it's got a very long wheelbase. So this is one of the few motorcycles in the world that really does fit a taller person. And as you can see, me being six foot three, you can imagine if you're six foot five or six, you would still be able to ride this bike and it would look okay. Whereas a lot of motorbikes, you sit on them and it looks like you're sitting on your daughter's first bicycle because uh, you are enormous compared to the size of the motorbike and it's not the height like I say it's the length that's important ask any of the girls here's another case in point this is a brand new motorcycle which has just been released in the United Kingdom it's the bullet V-Bob it's a 250 cc V-twin but again it's got a low seat height of 715 millimeters but it's quite long it's got a longer wheelbase than the average motorcycle especially of this capacity and um, because it's got forward controls you can reach out and the riding position is actually very good not as big as the heritage classic but it wouldn't be because that's an enormous full-size motorbike uh, but for a 250 um, this has got plenty of room and I don't look too huge on it I'm pretty sure now what some people do if they're tall is you can push the handlebars forwards, you can get risers for them to make them a little higher. Um, and sometimes on, say, some uh, motocross off-road dirt bikes, you can lower the pegs a little bit um, and maybe get a fatter, taller seat. But other than that, that's all you can really do. And you're still riding a very short, small motorcycle, which doesn't look right. So what I would recommend, if you're a taller person, is to look at the specs of various bikes uh, go for something like a cruiser because they are longer obviously the harleys are big bikes uh, and any other makes of cruiser tend to be longer look for the wheelbase figure because that's the important figure seat height really has nothing to do with it because it's all about the reach and the length um, and where your feet are which give you the comfort because some bikes your, your feet are tucked up here and you're riding like that that's just not comfortable oh come on now let's take the example of um, two guys going into a dealership to save by an enduro bike. Um, one of the guys, my cousin's um, son, is six foot five. Now if he went into the Honda dealership and he wanted to buy an enduro bike, let's say a CRF uh, 450 or 250 RX, I mean he's got two choices, a 450 or a 250, and it's basically down to engine size. The bike, the dimensions of the bike is pretty much the same. So um, he would go and say, well I'll go for the 450, and he'd walk out uh, having purchased the motorcycle. An hour later along comes another guy who's five foot seven and he goes in and says, well I'd like an enduro bike please. I've got a 250 or a 450. Okay, well I'll go for the 450. And he comes out with the same bike. But there's 10 inches of difference between the two people. It's like going into a shoe shop and saying, I'd like a pair of shoes please. And you know, whatever size foot you've got, I say, well, it's the same size, one size fits all, off you go. So it's, it's something needs to be done about it. Now one solution some people do, uh, particularly on drag bikes, is to extend the swing arm. Uh, you can do that on off-road dirt bikes as well, like a hill climb bike, and I think they look fabulous. Um, um, what happens there though is that it changes the dimensions of the motorcycle, it lifts the back end a bit, which will steepen the rake of the fork, so it can change the handling. So you'd have to compensate for that, so it's not an easy solution. 
but what I do propose is that manufacturers build a motorcycle with a longer wheelbase. So thinking of a hill climb motorcycle, extend the swing arm three, maybe four inches, maybe get an extra inch somewhere in the chassis, um, and a bit more suspension, another inch on the suspension. So thinking of a, a motocross or an enduro bike. Um, this, which is what I want. I'm looking for a, um, an off-road dirt bike, but I don't want a little short motorcycle. I want something that looks right and fits me. So uh, rather than me going sort of getting an extended swing arm, which will create, create problems, um, ma I think manufacturers should be working on a bike for taller people, uh, whether that be a road bike or an off-road bike. Um, they need to just have the same motor. I don't want, it, don't want it to be more powerful. I don't want it to be any different other than just a little bit longer, a little bit bigger. So um, there is a solution, and I would be happy to work with any manufacturer and sort of help with the designing of it and the ideas. Um, but it'd be nice to see one of the big manufacturers actually offering that as an option. So you can go into a shop being plus six foot tall and come out with a motorcycle that fits you properly. Now, if you've got a, another solution to this problem, I'd love to hear your comments. Um, what I suggested, I think, is, is the way forward. I think this could be done. Um, there may be other answers to the problem, but it's down to size, isn't it? It's like everything. It needs to be longer, needs to be maybe a little bit taller, and then it's going to look right. Um, there's no reason why a manufacturer can't do it other than me bolting on bits. Or I could have an option where I say, go onto a website, choose the bike I want, and then I could choose the option of a longer swing arm or a longer wheelbase for a taller person. So it's something you can click and add on. That would be great. So don't forget to leave a comment, like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Uh, check out our t-shirts below, we've got lots of different designs, more designs you can see in the lineup. so have a look on the website. Um, we've done a review of the Bullet V-Bob over there, the 250 V-Twin Cruiser motorcycle, you've got to see that, so check that out and we'll see you on the next video.